welcome to today's class. The previous lessons we've been able to identify two cations in a simple salt, copper 2 ion and ion 2 ion. And we were also able to identify an anion, tetrose sulfur 6 ion. Can you remember the observations? Copper 2 plus gives you a blue gelatinous precipitate, which is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide. And ion 2 plus gives you a green gelatinous precipitate, which is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide. White tetrose surface cis ion gives you a white PPT insoluble in HCO. When you use barium chloride, you get a white precipitate, and the precipitate will be insoluble in excess HCO. In today's class, we have another simple salt. As you can see, what cation can you infer from this salt? is a reddish brown salt i'm sure your guess is correct that likely it contains ion 3 plus let's carry out some tests on the salts to identify the cation the and the anion we need for identification of this salt is a measuring cylinder we have our distilled water in our wash bottle we have our test tube racks with our boiling tube and test tubes and then we have our reagent bottle. We have potassium thiocyanide solution, sodium hydroxide solution, silver trioxonitrate 5 solution, aqueous ammonia, and trioxonitrate 5 acid. Then we have our droppers, the dropping pipers. So one spatula full of the salt in a boiling tube. Add 10 cm cubed of water. Shake thoroughly. As you are shaking the solution, you can notice that the salt is very soluble in water. The observation is that the salt dissolves in water to give a reddish brown solution. Your inference from the table given later is that the salt is a soluble salt and ion 3 plus is already suspected. Divide the resulting solution into four portions. This is the second portion. This is the top portion. And this is the fourth portion of the solution. Okay, let's follow the instruction from the question. To the first portion of the solution, add sodium hydroxide in drops and then in excess. What do you notice? Tilt your test tube to see whether the precipitate is gelatinous or not. You can see that we have a reddish brown gelatinous precipitate. Our inference is ion 3 plus is present. Add sodium hydroxide in excess. And check whether the precipitate will dissolve or not. As you can see, the precipitate remained insoluble. Ion 3 plus is confirmed. To the second portion of the solution, we are going to add aqueous ammonia in drops and then in excess using your dropping pipettes okay the same way we observe a reddish brown gelatinous precipitate add aqueous ammonia in excess precipitate is insoluble as you can see, the reddish brown solid remains in the solution. So, ion 3 plus has been confirmed. The cation present in this salt is ion 3 plus. To the top portion of the solution, there are other confirmatory tests for ion 3 ion. We are adding potassium thiocyanate. Wow, what do you observe? The solution turned blood red. That is our observation. 
and ion 3 plus is confirmed this is another confirmatory test for ion 3 plus when you tilt your test tube you see that that is a blood coloration all right let's try to identify the anion present in the salt the halogens are identified using silver triazo nitrate 5 or lead 2 triazo nitrate 5 they precipitate out insoluble uh, uh, halides from their aqueous solution. So we are using silver triozo nitrate 5 solution. For chloride ion, silver triozo nitrate 5 gives you a white precipitate. For iodide ion, it gives you a yellow precipitate. And for bromide ion, it gives you a pale yellow precipitate precipitate so whenever you are asked to use this you know you want to check for the presence of the halogens what's the observation a white precipitate was formed in solution can you see so your inference is that chloride ion is present or triozo carbonate for ion might also be present because silver triozo uh, triozo carbonate 4 is insoluble. So we have two inferences Cl minus or CO3 2 minus. Let's confirm the particular one that is present by adding trioxo nitrate 5 solution. Okay, shake the solution to see whether Cl- minus is present or triozo carbonate 4 ion. As you can see, the white precipitate is still there. The inference is that Cl- minus is present and not CO3 2 minus. If it's CO3 2 minus, you would have noticed that the precipitate will dissolve with effervescence. All right, can you tell me? The name of this salt, ion 3 plus has been confirmed and chloride ion has been confirmed. When you interchange the valency, it gives you ion 3 chloride. So the salt we've just analyzed is ion 3 chloride salt. See, next class we'll look at another sample of a simple salt.